Hey everyone, this is Kwaku from NextGen Windows, and this time I'm going to bring you the Leap Motion. Uh, the Leap Motion was a Kickstarter project that was funded a while back, about a year ago. Uh, I just got it in the mail today, been playing around with it for a little bit, uh, trying out different little applications and stuff like that. And this is the one, uh, this, it works for Windows and Mac. Obviously, I'm running it on Windows 8.1, uh, the preview version. But right now, the software that I'm running on it is uh, touchless for Windows, as you can see. Uh, this application right here it's already running and you can see in this tray in this corner right here you can see the app is running in the, in the corner and you can see the sensors on right here uh, so when you right click on it you can see these little options over here uh, you can see interaction disabled basic or advanced basic means that you'll basically only see like uh, you only see one point on the screen when you no matter how many fingers you have and advance will show multiple so I can click advance and then now you see I have five fingers on the screen and then when I click on uh, basic I keep clicking my it the leap motion is actually recognizing uh, little moves that I do uh, when I click basic you notice no matter how many fingers I have uh, you're only seeing this uh, reticule here and you can see I accidentally opened up one of the applications but Here's just one of the applications while it just opens on its own already. Uh, you can see this is like, uh, I forgot what this is called, this is called flocking. So basically it just allows you to, uh, you know, flock a, a flock of fish, control it with your hand motions. See I'm using five fingers, my thumb is over here on the left, pinky is on the right, and then this is my ring finger, middle finger, and pointer finger. And you can see this, you know, how the motions are. See like that. And then if I go further away closer to me <clears throat> if I come closer to me you can see the balls get bigger and if I go further closer to the screen you can see that the balls get smaller and the fish are actually following the ball so you can see the fish will come close and they'll follow I can go back to one finger I can you know take a look at the fish the fish will follow me no matter where I am see so just like that it's a pretty cool application uh, on the Airspace Store. That's what they call their App Store. Uh, but this is—it runs pretty well on Windows 8. See two fingers right here. It runs pretty well on Windows 8. Uh, actually, it runs really well on Windows 8. You know, just little hiccups here and there because this is version one software. So let's close out of this one and get to the start of the show. The main thing I wanted to show you guys was this app called Touchless. You can pick it up on the Airspace store which I'll show you right now. This is what their uh, store looks like. This is the uh, app page for the uh, app Touchless. Yes, it has two in, out of five stars and I'll tell you guys exactly why. In fact, I'll show you guys why instead of uh, letting you guys read the comments on it. Uh, you can see different things like that. What's new? Obviously this is version one software so you know there's really nothing new to see and while we're here on the browser I'll show you guys the uh, you know how you would navigate a web browser now let me note this this is not gonna work very well it's gonna be pretty uh, you know jagged and weird cuz uh, it's gonna like see uh, you can see the screen is like is like blocking and stuff it's being really weird I don't know why it does that but maybe maybe they'll fix it they'll, they can easily fix it in a later patch update for this thing so you know it works decently you know maybe the function could be you're trying to just quickly you're using your mouse and you just want to quickly scroll through see I can click the charms bar you want to quickly scroll through and you just want to see oh, okay so that thing's there and then you want to go back down maybe it is gonna work better if I wasn't recording but uh, you guys can try it out it's 80 bucks you can pick it up at local stores on the 28th you can pick it up on uh, July 28th at Best Buy for eighty dollars so you know it's not very it's not very expensive for a device like this um, when we go back in fact let's try to use my finger and go back to the start screen so let's you know go to the charms bar and then let's see if we can yes I am back on the start screen now you can see I didn't even use the mouse for that you don't even see the mouse cursor on the screen now the way you would scroll left and right is you would use two fingers or more to scroll left and right I would recommend only using two fingers so you can see this is one finger and the closer you get to the screen the more it'll get smaller and then it'll turn green which counts as a select a left click so two fingers you can scroll left and right like that 
note that the performance won't be uh, as the performance is worse on this video because I'm recording this computer isn't really that great in performance wise anyway uh, but you know it works it works a lot smoother without recording but uh, it works really well if you just want to navigate or show someone some photos or something like that uh, that's what I would recommend it for now another thing that I would also try to do is let's try to launch YouTube RT so you can see I use I launched YouTube RT without touching anything waiting for it to load you can see we're in YouTube RT let's see if we wanted to just navigate through YouTube RT we could just uh, okay you know good eats complete that TV show is pretty good uh, let's try to scroll through there you go and then if you want to click a video we can click on say mm, this this channel I follow for strategy gaming you can click on his video it'll launch the video and then I can pause it just like that then if I want to select something something smaller I was able to select it. I'm actually doing a lot better <laughs> this recording than uh, previously. That's why it took so long to record this. Uh, so then the one thing I can't figure out how to do is how to close out of an app on here. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know why I can't do it. Let's close. Let's pause that. Dead Space 3. You can see I'm having some trouble with it. Let's go back. Let's go to check out another application. So then we can see if we can get back let's see can't exactly get back let me go to the charms bar and go back instead but you can see the reason why I would say it's it was given two stars instead of uh, you know five or anything like that is because it isn't perfect uh, again it's version one of this program on the airspace store it is a free app that allows you to control windows I would recommend it using it on Windows 8 more than Windows 7 or any previous operating system because Windows 8 is more touch optimized, especially on the start screen, uh, especially navigating through the start screen. As you can see, I'm having little mess ups. But essentially, if you've seen the movie Minority Report, all those gestures that uh, I think it's Tom Cruise, I'm not sure, could be completely wrong on this. Feel free to correct me. Uh, all those gestures that he did, you feel like you're in that now because you have the leap motion it's an eighty dollar device to do it on so for one thing I'll show you guys the zoom function so this is one finger right here it, reach, it uh, recognizes up to ten fingers and then this is my second finger right here so you can see these are my two fingers here you know they're going their separate ways if I want to zoom in you have to go close and then pinch a little bit and see I'm having some trouble with it it's like jerking away See, it's really hard to do. Let's we'll see if I can actually do this in this one video. You can see I'm trying to uh, zoom. There you go. I got it now. Uh, it's really hard to do it. I wish you could just use the pinch function. You know, like uh, I saw in the video that they were doing. You know, that's what I wanted to do. In fact, I was able to just do it just now. Let's try this again. No, I can't. I, I don't know how I managed to do the pinch function. Uh, with one hand just then but it really does work with two see I just did it again and then if we want to go in you can pack and it just goes back in but it works it works pretty well it's fun uh, I would I would recommend this device if you wanted to be on the cutting edge the bleeding edge of new technology and stuff like that it kind of reminds me of the connect sensor and everything like that I'll have pictures flashing in the screen to show you what it looks like and stuff like that um, I was going to do an unboxing, but I figured you can look pretty much everywhere on the entire interwebs uh, to find unboxings of what the box looks like. I'll just give you a hint. In fact, I'll, I'll post a picture of the box uh, on the screen right now. But it, it works. It's a pretty cool device. I wanted to get it. It was only 80 bucks. It was a, I backed their Kickstarter fund and pre-ordered it, so it came in just today. It was supposed to come in yesterday. Um, but it works. You can see I accidentally opened up an application, the alarms application. So let me go back out. Can't go back out. Let's see if I can actually do this. So for those of you, in fact, uh, for those of you who might be wondering, what is the leap motion? Leap motion is essentially a sensor. It plugs into your USB port, USB 2.0, even though it does support USB 3. They just uh, held the hardware back from using USB 3, even though the cable is a USB 3.0 cable. 
it's just a small little flash drive size um, you know device that allows you to have touchless interaction with your desktop or Mac or you know whatever laptop it doesn't matter what it is so essentially that's pretty much what the leap motion is it works pretty well they have plenty of apps in the store in fact I'll show you guys what some of the apps in the store looks like you see I have a whole lot of applications open let me go back to the airspace store you can see this is their air airspace store it's just essentially their app store they have a whole bunch of applications here um, actually you know what one quick thing before I finish this video I want to show you guys here maps on uh, leap motion so you can see this is here maps right here and then let's fly let's see if this actually will work let's try to refresh this then use your leap device to navigate it was working before I'm not sure why it won't let me do it now let's try this let's uh, copy this let's go back to the desktop and then let's go to Google Chrome actually you know let's try it. let's go to Internet Explorer since that's more touch friendly in fact while we're here I'll just show you guys the zoom command so you can pinch the zoom if I can do it I can't do it well yeah I can't it's hard to do it. it's really hard to do it but it works you saw it just then um, so let's check out here maps on the leap motion okay you can see in fact, let me close. Let me stop this application to make sure this thing will work. All right, there you go, guys. Now I have finally got it working. I had to switch browsers, uh, so you can see at the bottom the map loaded right there. You can hit got got it. Just let's fly, and this will be jerky because I am recording, and this is not a like a gaming performance computer. It's a pretty basic, cheap computer. But essentially what it lets you do is it lets you uh, fly this little paper airplane, you know, throughout this city right here. And it's it's it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty basic. It doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really tell you much or do anything really. I'm not even sure if it tells you what the street names are or anything. In fact, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't really even tell you what the street names are. But you can see uh, that... It is fly. I'm using my hand just to let you know, and it to just fly around this paper airplane. And all you do is just, you know, you would hold your hand straight, all five fingers straight, close together, and it would tilt around like uh, it would just tilt around, and it allows you to control the paper airplane by the tilt of your hand and your fingers. Uh, so that's pretty much all it does. But it's just a cool thing showing you guys that the leap motion does work. Uh, it works to what they said it would do too. I would actually, you know, recommend it if you like to be on the bleeding edge. But it's not something that you need to get to replace the mouse or anything like that because you can see the mouse is so much more precise compared to this, uh, you know, leap motion. So let's close out of that. So that's pretty much it. That's my tutorial first impressions of Leap Motion uh, and the airspace. Some of the airspace apps in the store. Uh, this is running on Windows 8.1. Um, it's a pretty cool device. My final thought about it would be that, again, if you want to be on the bleeding edge, go for it and buy this device. It is $80. It's not that much. It's even cheaper than Apple TV, uh, which is that's not even that expensive, being $100. Uh, this is pretty cheap. It'll be coming to stores on the 28th of July, uh, in the U.S. at least is what I know. I'm not sure about over overseas. It'll be coming to Best Buy in the U.S. on July 28th, so you can go check it out and pick it up, pick one up for yourself. The box is fairly small, and it's fairly compact since it's the size of a flash drive, about uh, at least a regular size flash drive, not those tiny, tiny ones. And that's pretty much it. This has been Quaku from Next Gen Windows checking out the Leap Motion and some of the airspace apps including Touchless for Windows which allows you to essentially control your Windows 8 environment with your hands instead of using your mouse or anything like that um, it's pretty good at it's a pretty good uh, hardware device that you can get and pretty much that's it I'll check you guys later peace